Good morning. It is a Thursday. The last shower I've had was in Buckeye on Saturday. And so I think it's time to go for a swim today. Well, I found the aquatic center. The website said that they had a rental until eight. So I am hanging out in the van until it's until the open swim time. I noticed as I was driving into Bakersfield yesterday that the smog is just out of this world incredible. I didn't realize how smoggy Bakersfield could be. After being in the desert where every night you can see the Milky Way, it's so clear. The smog is really something. Okay, I'm not sure how this swimming thing is going to go. It is 53 degrees in the van and only 45 degrees outside. And as far as I can tell, the swimming is outside. I got some videos uploaded to YouTube while I was waiting for the pool to open. Um, now it's, I don't know, it's like 8.20 and I don't see anybody else going in. I see some landscapers working on the grounds around it. So we'll see if it's even open. So I just stopped and asked one of the landscapers if the pool is open because it doesn't look open. And he did confirm that it's closed. I'm gonna see if I can take a shower anyway. Who knows, it's worth asking. I totally read the schedule wrong. Their, um, their actual schedule had the dates from August through October, so I didn't even click on that. So um, no shower for me, no swimming for me. Um, I'm gonna head on and I'll go take another sponge bath. We'll see just how long I can, um, I can go without taking a shower and still be presentable. <laughs> so I'm driving out of Bakersfield and I realized that today might have been the day to go ahead and join Planet Fitness so that I have the easy access to showers in cities. I'm already heading out um, and it's all just super high-end residential at this point. And smog, so much smog. Seeing all this smog and I just wonder, is this like the frog in the pot where the frog gets into the pot when the water is cold and then doesn't realize that the water is boiling and it's going to die? This, I can't imagine people living in this soup. And I do recognize the hypocrisy of me commenting on their smog while I'm driving through in my sprinter van. Um, not sure what to do about that. Uh, at least it's a new, it's a newer vehicle, and so it handles the exhaust. And it is the four cylinder, so it gets better fuel economy. But I do realize that I'm contributing to all of this blech that's in the air. And I just wonder how much of this is due to CAFOs and how much is conventional agriculture when, and how much of this smog is actually pesticides in the air. I just pulled over to get some diesel. I was super excited because the price was $3.09 per gallon, which is crazy cheap in, um, in California. And it was a Shell station, so it's good gas. <laughs> no, it's B20 and I can't do B20. I have to do diesel number two. And so here I am at the next, next door at the Chevron for $3.79 a gallon. It's more than a dollar a gallon more than it was in Arizona. I think I was paying two forty nine or two forty five in Arizona. So I just merged on I five North. Most reasonable people would just stay on I five. It goes all the way to Eugene, which is where I'm headed next. But I hate driving on interstates. It feels so competitive to me. You're always jockeying for position, and it doesn't go through very interesting places. And if I were to take I-5 North all the way to Eugene, I'd be hitting some passes, and I do not want to hit the passes. So what I'm gonna do is get off at the, at the next highway, Highway 58, go west, and then skirt up the coast so that I can avoid the major passes. There's going to be one pass that I'm going to have to go over um, to get from the coast to Eugene, but the coast range isn't as hard. If there is a snow event, I'll be able to avoid that completely um, by just staying on the coast side until the event is over. 
and then I get into McKittrick and it's all oil refineries and tanks and uh, pumps. Uh, I actually just passed a set of crude oil tanks just sitting there. It is really, really pretty out here. And it's so quiet. There's just nobody out here. There's a few houses, a few ranches, um, but really nothing. I can actually hear birds flying. From here you can see the smog where I was coming from. Now this is definitely not I-5.